Once your car has had a Hunter four-wheel alignment and the measurements are complete, a before alignment adjustment printout will be presented. So what does it all mean? The printout shows a basic graphical representation of a car chassis with the front set of wheels at the top of the printout and the rear set at the bottom. Each of the 14 primary angle measurements is graphically presented as a bar. The colour of these bars indicates the status of the angles. Green, meaning the angle is OK and within alignment, and red, meaning the angle is out of alignment. The set of numbers in each top corner represent the from and to motor manufacturer tolerance figures for the particular model of car with the ideal in alignment setting halfway between the two tolerances. If the angle is out of alignment, the arrow will be off center, over to one side or the other. The central figure shown is the actual measured figure, which is most often presented in degrees and minutes. The camber concerns the tilt of the vehicle's wheels. If camber is aligned correctly, steering and road performance are greatly increased. If not, the tire wear and vehicle handling can be severely affected camber is measured in degrees. A wheel that is straight has zero degrees. If the wheel tilts outwards, it has positive camber. And if it tilts inwards, it has negative camber. Camber can affect both front and rear wheels. The caster measures the tilt of the steering axis to that of the wheel. Caster is measured by the forward or rear tilt of the steering axis, as if viewed from the side. Measured in degrees, the caster is positive when the top of the steering axis is tilted to the rear of the car and negative when it tilts forwards. If incorrectly aligned, caster can cause increased steering effort and tyre wear. The caster only applies to the front steering wheels. The steer ahead indicates the angle of the steering wheel. If the vehicle was travelling on a straight and flat road, it should be level. The most common angle that suffers from misalignment is the toe. The toe is measured by how much the wheel angle is in or out from the car's centre line. The toe is positive when the tyre points inwards and negative when it points out. Each individual wheel toe is considered a per wheel value. Excessive negative or positive toe will result in unnecessary tyre wear or scuffing on the outer and inner edge of the tyre. Toe can affect both front and rear wheels. Total toe is the sum of the two individual toe readings added together. The final measurement is the thrust angle. The thrust angle is the direction the rear wheels are pointing in relation to the centre line of the car. If the thrust angle is not zero and in line, the vehicle will crab or move sideways from the back, causing unnecessary strain on the vehicle. Any grey boxes shown are angle measurements not relevant to that particular make or model or unpublished by the motor manufacturer. After being presented with a before printout, you will be asked if you would like your car to be realigned. This is where adjustments are made, where applicable, to bring the angles back into alignment and within the motor manufacturer's specifications. Once the adjustment is complete, you get an after printout to keep, proof of a job well done.